my name is Greg. I'm with Polyfiber. We get frequently asked technical questions and we thought we would put together a handful of answers for you uh, so you can have a little more data up front. Most dominant question we get asked is which needle, nozzle, and air cap should be used for the spray gun. Typically an HVLP is being used in the way of the gun, a high volume, low pressure gun. And we recommend what the manufacturer of the gun recommends for lacquers and enamels, and that would be for all of our products. Usually this is a 1.3 or a 1.4 for gravity feed and a 1.2 for suction. And that's pretty much universal. Number two, how many coats of poly brush should be used? The manual alludes to this, but is a little bit sketchy to make it very clear. You should have a total of three coats of poly brush. The first one should be brushed the second and third should be sprayed. And if you end up getting gloss in the poly brush, that just helps your finish later. So that's a good thing. But a total of three coats, one brush and two sprayed. Next question is, I'm gonna shoot yellow or I'm going to shoot red. Should I put white beneath these? The answer is yes. Whether you're going to use polyurethane or dope or Mark II for metal or butyrate color, whatever you're using, it's wise to put white beneath the bright colors. And it should be a uniformly colored white. So use Insignia White, which is the whitest white, or white primer in the case of hard surfaces. Because yellow and red just don't hide so well, um, it takes usually three coats of either one to get a good color coat. And you don't want to have any shading in the white either. You want it to be uniformly colored. So use Insignia White, Polytone, or Butyrate underneath your subcoats over your silver and then you can proceed with either your top coat polytone or polyurethane erythane or ranthane or butyrate color or ranthane okay the last question is how long should i wait after shooting poly spray before i should apply color wait four days after shooting your last coat of poly spray before you shoot color in a perfect world, it would be wise to roll the surfaces outside or roll the aircraft outside and let the sun bake those silver surfaces so that we can outgas all of the coatings, um, all the solvents from the coatings. Um, at which time, then you'll be able to scuff and shoot your polytone or your polyurethane. Same is true for nitrate butyrate. But that pause after the final silver step and before color is important, particularly for the urethanes and particularly over hard surfaces. So the time is important, the warmth is important. And if you have a whole cold temperature or you leave the airplane indoors for an extended period of time after silver, say in the winter time, consider maybe putting some uh, warming lamps over the surfaces to help them to outgas because you want all of the solvent out before the top coat is put on. And you check it by just using your nose, get your nose down close to the surface and give it a sniff and see if you smell any solvents when you're thinking you're ready to spray your top coat color. That's what we have for you now. Thanks.